things can only get worse. So, about Harzad, uh, the news said it was cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is confirmation of death. No. He's just crazy? I bet. Haru, why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shot could kill a person. Haru did mention her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die, this has got to be some kind of joke. Haru responsible for his death? But I thought he was supposed to be the f be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. Mmm, something in my eye itchy. There we go. Yeah, there's no point in getting mad at Mona for this. Yeah, like Ryuji immediately blames Mona. There's no point in getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public, but keep horror in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing. Why and what are we supposed to do from here on? Why none of them have thought? Wait, did somebody else enter the palace with us? Why hasn't that thought come up? The beat comes out of uh, it. We yeah. haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. We were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking, huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office too. We didn't put that there. No. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches you. We didn't your even target it the principal. How trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. How did they get our calling card? The principal? No one told me about that. Wow, we just got royally played, man. They trapped us real good. It's like we fell into a pitfall trap. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? My teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Well, at least she's smart and level-headed in this air. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Vision starting to get distorted. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Barely. Stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last, we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, really? explain everything to me. Wow, that was unexpected.
Oh, now we dropped this time. I have to wonder, like... Did, uh, Makoto approve this? Oh, Bushki, my apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss this with everyone, though. We should hold- we should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright. Let's meet up with everyone after school. Skip to after school, please. Was Kuma murdered? But that was a live barcast, wasn't it? If it wasn't an illness, then it has to be murder. Did something happen to the honor student? She seems different now. Still, I feel bad for him going on going out like that. By the way, chat, my wife is making me the best With dinner this, tonight. Preparations are it's like, finally in place. It's like the a noodle Dominic bowl of sorts. It's great. It's the best. Allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. She'll? She'll as in who? Yes. I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. Oh, is he targeting Psy? The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. Oh, so this dude's only a figurehead too. He's not he's just a puppet. I don't I don't think he's the main person behind it. It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. So it's begun already. What? And we knew it was gonna happen. Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Well, they're not supposed to. That's oh, the whole point. Don't. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named Mijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. You didn't- you? you just now thought about this though? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? Yes, idiot, study! 
I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, well, it's Futaba, so you know it's gonna be something to smart. And not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Covering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, Again? It's so damn loud! Not louder than you, sir. More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjed that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjed after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjed. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjed? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjed member. So someone used the Medjed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Try again. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Good job, Perhaps Makoto. Perhaps the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. See? But Smart what people. That? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? You, you need to stop I found talking. those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? Before summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group, and the one who tampered with the site, are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjet's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing, and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? Yep. No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. No, I mean, you're not thinking hard enough, dumb. And Medjet. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Ugh, now Ryuji's starting to panic. Calm the heck down, dumbass. Yeah. This doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. It's like, Ryuji, if you can't understand it, the first thing he does is immediately panic. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? Ah, when setting the her up now. the Shujin principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. 
And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. He is setting the her up like Thieves a- Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Yep, you setting the heck about it out of her up. Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all then. I expect she's gonna she's to falling for a hook line, hook line and sinker. I'm home. Hi sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. But we're family, so it's always going to be my concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. This is bad. I need to let everyone know. She's coming for us. She's coming for us hard. All right, chat. So while we're in this tech scene, let me take the time to say welcome everybody to the stream. You're live with your man Boshi89. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has tuned in or is tuning in. Um, we are in the middle of our playthrough of Persona 5 The Royal. I believe this is day 10? Yeah, day 10. 10, right? Could be 11. I don't know anymore. I'm... No, it's 10. Okay. <sighs> My days are getting mixed up. Being home every day is starting to uh, feel the same. But yep, day 10 of Persona 5 The Royal Playthrough. Um, we are in between palaces right now. As you can see, or I don't know if you've seen or noticed, shits has gone downhill. Um, we're being framed for something that we did not do, killing the person that we did not kill, uh, all because we just happened to be in the vicinity um, at the time things happened. Um, it looks like we've been set up, royally set up, um, for the past few months or so, so we're trying to find our way out of the situation. Um, don't know if it'll work, but you'll see. We'll see how that plays out. We have police, we have inspectors, everybody's gunning for the Phantom Thieves, so... <sighs> Look at that. Things have become so much troublesome, everyone. Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she's been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. And that means, yes, the SIU must surely be on the move at this point. That's bad. Wait. Weren't they already investigating us, though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation's on such as on a much different scale. Hold on a sec. What's this SIU thing anyways? The Special Investigations Unit. An elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I've heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part is they haven't lost a case against a suspect in like 50 years. If they come, at, if they come after you, you're screwed. They're the best investigation force in, the, in Japan. Are we going to be arrested? 
Hmm, doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. As this is a country governed by law, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. They probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now, too. Hey, don't scare us like that. It's okay, though. They don't have any evidence. Yes, I expect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're going to find anything, though. It's only a matter of time. We have to hurry and do something about this. Uh, everything's going to be fine. Unless they know Seems about they the fucked. there's no way they'll get any info on us. Bad, Snorlax. Bad. Having that bar there is depressing. They were there today, too, right? Yeah. What do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. I know, right? Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. Okay, quiet down. It says, the police are here at the school, so be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festivals got, festival got moved to the 25th. There was talk of canceling it, but we couldn't just do that. Sure, the preparations will be rough, but don't push yourself too hard. Really? On a weekday? What kind of reasons are there? With all this stuff about the principal and Kamoshida this year, I guess it's no surprise. Stuff is getting down the drain. Stuff is going down the drain. Stuff is going down the drain. Who's lunch behind me? Apparently, the police, is, the police are going to be interrogating all the students here. Seriously? The police are in Sujin. They haven't come to my school. It seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're going to get called in too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They've got to be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful, guys. You should probably try not to say much. They'll see through any lies you might try um, You might try telling. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Well, this is going to be fun. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san, and you two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary, and try and get it over with quick. Here it is! It's time check. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida. My detection sh machines are easy to get past. Should I say nope? I guess I should just say yes. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. I probably oh, should have told him that. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? I hope not. Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? Should I have not told him that I got into a tiff, a tiff with uh, um, Kamoshida? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. <laughs> She was Seems getting we were all asked the same questions questions. at home for weeks. Now she's That's back at school get getting you. questioned they again. They did it on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. It would have been if you had lied and got no, caught. Ah, okay. They saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Yeah, he was. Especially those eyes. It was like they were smiling, but not. <laughs> How can I smile? I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. 
And now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police, too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. True. They were so popular, too. Not anymore, we're like 15. Can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for are everyone else, you are a you need to be cautious of gym how you spend your time at school. So I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? That's our only choice. <laughs> I wouldn't call you stupid. That was a really irritating question that anybody would get wrong. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? He's not even doing anything. Goro Akechi. This one too, a catchy. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Take this seriously. We're gathering information too. You know, like uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! Things are getting worse, Chet. We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How is Futaba-chan doing? You she don't really have much like of a choice, though. She was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. It's Futaba, after all. You know she's gonna find something. Futaba is the best! She's like Giovanni from Team Rocket. Always, always can count on him. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what? Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, 
I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. There was no sudden change, he's been saying the same thing the whole time. Seriously, even you have even you're having trouble with this shit? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The early the better, right? Though I still haven't come up with anything myself. It's said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads can may produce. It's a good way of thinking. It's totally a it's totally an Inari idea. I like guess she keeps calling him Inari. Okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodologies. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? Aw, oh, really, Sojiro? Pretty much. <laughs> You're trying to show off. Don't get cocky, kid. Yep. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble. Pretty much. I heard the police showed up at your school. Nothing about me. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. I need to get another water bottle. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well... Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a Kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? Hi. It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kechikun? Yeah, we should bake a cake for him too. Should be fine. <laughs> okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. Probably. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on. How are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Ashley, I do. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Besides, no one cares what you think, Ryuji. Nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating. I don't know. I just try. He's all we have at the moment. I'm the one that had his number. Do don't you think it'd probably what? been better, smarter for me to do it? We're counting on you, Makoto. Hey. I can't you. Home. Should I say, honey, I'm home? You're back awfully late. <laughs> How has business been for you? He didn't even respond to it! Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? 
Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? This son of a douche. It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. Honorable my butt! He's the reason why I'm in this situation. Undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural He's just scared that his own way of life is going to get ruined. Man, this guy is admirable. Dude, shut up Rampant and get out of here. Political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Can't trust him as far as you can throw him. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. True nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, Perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met. Oh, I, feel as though I, I know, tell right? You anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity. I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. You'll see me tomorrow at the panel. Um, it's more casual than what they have to wear. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. We Acting like normal to wear polo students school? is going to be important. Yeah, we were forced to wear polo and a, a and festival? specific pants. In my, uh, in one of my high schools at least. Exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for But I was also in the ROTC program, so I was wearing military like uniforms we for a while as well. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Ryuji most of all, because that idiot is an idiot. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? 
Oh, I don't have um, no faith in you, Yuji, because this dumbass will you blur out quite a lot of fun, the most though. obvious thing in the most that you were looking forward to this populated I place. To go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? All oh, right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. <laughs> I know a great one. Follow me. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. This is the place. Maid Cafe? Maid Takoyaki? New customers. I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. See? So go. loud. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. Ah. The hell? <laughs> no, no, Wolfie. I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Yo, what is this? How about the squid? We're out of squid. We're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. <laughs> Doesn't even sound remotely possible. Do you eat this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Yuji, you're making a scene. <laughs> then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little Why time. is she making the kitty thing? She's not even wearing kitty ears. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Okechi's popularity. All thanks to the phantom thieves. You know... Did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. I bet. We won't let that happen. Still. It doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, One per person, made. essentially. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at uh, the festival. <laughs> microwave takoyaki. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. And the rest is normal. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. <laughs> oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Can you get it be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, everyone's all here. Hey, it's a catchy. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. 
That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <laughs> burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is... Oh, oh my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? Uh, uh, I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh... Spicy... Spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t tomorrow <laughs> Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Oh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. Rip a catchy. <laughs> we need to somehow get him to be our source Spicy. of info. Spicy, dun dun dun. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just. No, he things. said that. <sighs> Ryuji has no brains. So I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well. Since I got to I just like the fact that they're pushing what off like, like they now? finally you figured something out but then they push it off because I oh it can't possibly be true. But I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the kun again tomorrow after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Man, I know it's scripted, but it's like going to sleep. Can't come fighters left. What was going on with that? 22. Well, at least we stopped dropping significantly. Well then, we will now begin today's... Alright, chat. It's time for the panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We wow. Terrible pick laughs. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any <gasps> murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Well, you just said we're all here. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? 
if you're a prosecutor. Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. Get him, Makoto. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if... This is all hypothetical, my dear. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now... Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. This is not good, chat. She's gotta be bluffing. No. I'm down. He's lying, right? Doubt it. But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However... There is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? Chat. Quite the confidence you have. Things are getting serious. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are? Alright, chat. Moment of truth. That idiot! There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Good okay. job, phone call! I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Yo! Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? What kind of laugh was that? PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. It's your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. I know he does know. He what didn't run into us, though, about? before we entered the fifth palace. He walked right behind us. No. That's gotta be shocked. I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the nav. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... Ryuji, you shut your mouth. Yes, phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Might as well tell him the truth. There's no point in lying now. So you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to yep. think it would end up like this. Apparently. We didn't kill anyone. 
I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? Th this cat. I swear, it just talked. <laughs> Everybody has the same reaction to Mona talking. Our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation, this shit has got serious. I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Durr. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? And just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? Yep, You'll be found back. guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Why do those two keep screaming? There's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And like Ryuji and I'm just work. continuously screaming. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about akechi sons proposal? You're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. Woo! About that. Like I just got gut punched. Sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He 
He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Uh oh the hell? Chad? I'm sorry about this? the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this... Wait, are they sad or are they happy? Because it sounds like they're saying, Woo! against us indeed we intended to get intel out of him but to think it would play out like this so what we'll just accept his deal dang out much of a choice he's got evidence on us we really don't have a choice damn it what are we gonna do why are you so loud on, Ryuji. how am i supposed to calm oh. down what are we gonna do ah. what's done is done Want to, pull our heads and to lock lines. him in a closet and gag him. The time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences Ryuji followed is in the succession worst. earlier this spring. All those uh, things have quieted down. Why is there a card there? Several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Not everybody's receiving calling cards, Why apparently. Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Well, this isn't going to end well. Not even Soju is involved. The post festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Post festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post festival party? Yep, nope, got invited now. Since we run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. Yay! Yeah, it sounds like it's going to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai! Ooh, she grabbed my hand. Okay. I like surprises. Members of the dance club, come on down. Okay, now I'm not so interested in the surprise anymore. No. 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 We're done. I'm done, chat. We're, we're done. I, we're done. Chat, why are we doing this? Just standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it. Let's bust a move. Uh, what about the cat? Am I gonna actually dance? Ah! 
Oh, slow saw? Hey, you're Yoshizawa's son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. What exactly did I just do? Soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Okay. Huh? Yo, who's that? Huh? This is a gymnast, but she's a ballerina as well. I'm waiting for her to do backflips. That's crazy. Aw, oh, that looks cute as a cat. No leaps or anything like that? Pointing at me. Okay. Do I have to come to the stage? Let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, I guess I'm not going. That's unfortunate. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. <sighs> Thank you. Wow. Dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get uh, really? going. I've never played it. I think our wife I'll played it though. Go. Or she has some, like a, a screen so for it or something fun. like that. Some kind of a PlayStation black backdrop. See you soon. Now we have to go back home and deal with the crazy nonsense that's there. So I guess I don't get a choice. But didn't we, do, didn't we just do the post party? All right, that was a great performance by the dance club. Every <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi kun said. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. Wonder why I get paired with her this time. Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. All right. Who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No. I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose. I wonder who it would be. How about that fluffy-haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he... looking this way? Well then, come on up! Little Miss Fluffy here! He's talking to me. This 
isn't he? Yep, you're fluffy. It's because you're cute. Question is that Man, he's going in for the kill. I mean, they are uh, your father's killers. We're all dying to know what Akechi kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Okumura san? Um, oh dear. Well, I need to change the subject. You have a boyfriend. No questions. <laughs> She's probably gonna hate me now. This festival party is finally over. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. I'm gonna ignore you. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. And the person, um, we get her, uh... As they say, who knows what may lie ahead. For now, her, uh, I'm worried about what happened with akechi -kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here, I'd like you to have this. Ame Zaiku. Sakura Ame Zaiku. Bought it earlier. Can we date it? <laughs> now then, let's go home. Sure. What? I figured I would get her coffee dot. This man Joker building the harem? I know, right? took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. This isn't gonna go well, is it? The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, 
How's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, I let love me it. see this He's pinning it on her. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear Always cares again. about themselves. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. What is the unexpected? Death? To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> then something came, hit him in the back of the head, and he fell through the window. We're home! Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean... It was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Oh no, she's gonna shut down again. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I, there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it. But I, I couldn't do it by myself. It really is not Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Oh, I want to hug her! Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. Still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, even the doctors had thrown in the towel. First, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. 
I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <clears throat> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? He's not as dumb as he appears to keep himself, or the way, the way he acts, he always tries to make himself seem like he's an idiot, but he's pretty darn sharp. Uh, sorry for keeping quiet. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Well, thank you for... Uh, uh, well... <laughs> are you saying that he's the one who well. changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them. Uh, sir, I'm actually the leader. Just putting that out there. This is no joke. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief oh, for crying out loud sojiro so basically i've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months and on top of that futaba's involved uh, she's a phantom thief as well just what the saying hell? i i want to find the culprit who killed my mom wait it killed she was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro. When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. Oh, this shit is deep. To be frank, this is deep, Chad. I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I know, right? It just turns it's so real. Don't worry, even if you are the real phantom thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? 
We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. <laughs> All that yelling's gotten me hungry. You know, he's a real stand-up guy, man. Real cool cat. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. I know, right? What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding! <laughs> Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or him thing? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Boshi was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case, we consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second, didn't you say Boss had to run in from it? Um, told, um, Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who could, um, who do you think the culprit would be? Well, he said he was a government official. A government official. Ain't I letting, ain't you letting your run, imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? It's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. This is big. <laughs> we aren't that nice. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Yo, Thieves. Yo, they are really getting into this. And dang, it's October Look, already? Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Jesus. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. No, not Soji Daddy! That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? There was no choice. That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. It's okay, kitty cat. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the phantom thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. So unrealistic. Yo, this is the quietest Yuriji has talked ever in his life. Actual criminals. Don't you guys realize that? Now, the quietest he's ever. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. 